Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new three new units, one dragon, two adventurers, and the two mana spirals for Celiara and Ranzel, the four version of them. That's today's video, we're going to talk about them, see how they are, give some thoughts about it, give opinions. Of course, if you have your own opinions about them, tell me about them. If you're going to summon for them, if you're going for them, are you hyped for them? I saw a lot of people saying um, um, that they've been waiting for these characters because they come from Grand Blue Fantasy. Grand, Grand Blue Fantasy? Uh, never played it. So I know that Dragalia takes a lot of characters from there. I think that was the joke about when Dragalia started is that it was like a Smash Brothers. Um, but for specific, specifically, I guess, for... The, the the Psy games, uh, other games or something like that. I don't remember. Sorry, I have a slight headache. It's impeding my, <laughs> my, my brain. Anyway, let's go into today's units. And of course, if you end up liking this video, remember to leave a like. It helps me a whole bunch. Subscribe to me if you want some more video stuff. I do a whole bunch of it. And let's go. Urius, what manner of power will you show me? He's a water wand. Enignam... 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 Igmatic, Igmatic, okay. An Igmatic researcher from the Kingdom of Levin. A mild-mannered intellectual. His normally calm face is sometimes cast in a dark shadow. He has keen sense of inquiry. And off feels his pulse quickens at the thought of new knowledge. Hmm. Skill 1, Unknown Order. Deals water damage to the target and nearby enemies, increasing the user's inspiration by one stage, and raises the user's dragon drive gauge. If this oh, it's one of these units. If this skill is used during dragon drive, a variant called Tentacle Phantasma will be used instead. Tentacle Phantasma deals water damage to the target and nearby enemies and deals extra damage to the frostbitten enemies. Seekers of Truth deals water damage to the enemy in a line, inflicts frostbite, increases the user's inspiration by two stages, and raises the user's dragon drive gauge. If this skill is used during dragon drive gauge, a variant called Tentacle Mirage will be used instead. Tentacle Mirage deals water damage to the enemies in a line and deals extra damage to frostbitten enemies. Skill damage 15%, water dragon haste 20%. Wow, that means that um, combine this with uh, Tiki, Olive Water has an extreme way of getting um, Dragon Haste extremely quick. Uh, Abyssal Dragon 2 grants the user Dragon Drive Gauge and changes the Shapeshift button into a Dragon Drive button. Tapping the button activates their Dragon Drive Gauge. During Dragon Drive, the user's skill damage will be increased by 35% and their skill gauge will fill 30% faster. Burn resistance 100%, skill prep 100%. Um, he seems really good. Uh, he, a lot of people were saying kind of rip Lily on this one because Lily had been kind of holding strong for an extremely long time as the only real water wind, uh, there's a couple others, but she was still the main go-to for water wind, but at this point, water wind, water wand, and now it seems like with this guy, especially with Dragon Drive, there's just no competition it looks like anymore. So even with, uh, hmm, he must be, hmm. yeah, he seems interesting. And he's distance, so you can actually use him with, um, in HBH, because uh, you don't need two Hunter Cerises. Um, you just need one healer, a Gala Ellie. But I actually heard recently that someone was actually able to beat, there was a team of people being able to beat HBH with, um, three Tikis and one Gala Ellie. But to be fair, I think you can also beat, um, <laughs> Master Hein Brunhilde with four Fjorms, so... <laughs> Water's in a weird place where it's not really going to matter what they do until we get their Aguido for uh, for them. That's just the way of the world. Forte, I am a dragon brood warrior, the lord of the skies. A warrior known as the lord of the skies, she believes there's no greater honor than achieving victory against a strong warrior and travels the land atop her compatriot, the Spellworm, seeking such powerful foes. Um... Wow, someone just literally answered and Hey, Wokey, are you going to summon for Forte and Urius? We'll find out by the end of this. Um, I'll tell him I made a video. I'll give him a shout out for that, actually. Hey, who? Let me... Um, let me find that name real quick. I want to say it was Omar? No, it wasn't Omar. Oh, it was Omar Moraway. There we go. I'm sorry for pronouncing that last name. Um... 
shout out. Uh, Dragon Brew Demon Spear deals shadow damage to the enemies in a line. Pose and foes take extra damage. Flawless Horn Formation deals shadow damage to the enemy directly ahead and increases the user strength by 20% for 15 seconds. Changing directions is possible during this attack. Wait, deals shadow damage to the enemy directly ahead and increases the user strength by. Oh, it must be like, um. Yeah, it must be like, a... Yeah, it, yeah, no, it makes sense. I was like trying to think about like how did that work out. No, it, it works out perfectly. Co-op ability, HP 15%. Chain co-op ability, Shadow Dragon Claw 6? Jeez. If the team member is attuned to Shadow, each shapeshift increases their strength up to three times. That's... I think Dragon Claw 6 is what Mim has? Let me double check on that one. Uh, let me see. No, this is the wrong map. Yeah, wow. Okay. Uh, that that, that co-op ability on Mim is really good. Um, really, really good. It helps you in, it helped you in a whole bunch. And I assume any, anyone that uses a lot of dragon, it helps a whole bunch. Let's get back into it. Um, skills equal shapeshift prep two. Fills the user's dragon gauge when, wow, it's literally just Mim. They, they've given, except for now it applies to skill too as well. Fill the user's dragon gauge when using skills that does not include weapon or dragon skills. Reduce susceptibility to paralysis by 100% and poison punish 30%. Hmm. Okay. I mean, she seems really cool. I, I, hmm. Shadow's in a really weird place where Shadow doesn't need any units, <laughs> to be 100% honest with you. I don't know why they include Shadow units anymore. There's no point. Um, I, I guess it's good that um, she gives that uh, Dragon Claw skill. That's definitely really good. But I don't know. I don't know about this one. I'm sure she'll be pretty good, but there's really no point in having any Shadow units. Unless you are, I mean, I guess if you missed out on all the good shadow units, there is a point. Except for, of course, unless you really like her. In which case, she does look cool. She's riding a dragon. I feel it. Let's go on to the last one, feature dragon. Azazel, I have turned against the divine and now act only for the pride in my heart. Oh, emo boy. A dragon whose existence was erased from the church. He once held the role of conveying Ilya's word to the Auspex. He later um, fomented rebellion and was sealed away. Since being freed, he has f uh, fought to make the truth of the church known. Merciless Doom deals shadow damage to the enemies in a line, inflicts poison, and increases the entire team's damage against the poison enemies by 15% for um, 40 seconds. Shadow HP 30% and skill haste 35%. That is nuts. I want him for grace. I mean, in general, if you want a healer, I know I was literally just saying like, oh, what's the point of uh, shadow units? There is actually a point for grace at least because grace currently her dragon is either Nidhogg or the free cat. And I would much rather have this guy than any of those two. Uh, the reason is because you want her HP to be high. Uh, with this, you'll not only have high HP, but that's skill haste 35% and that should good, go good with any support from shadow when I guess they decide to drop Master Cayenne and hopefully make Shadow have a fight that they I can actually do, as opposed to just like steamrolling it on auto, which is what they currently do. Uh, now to answer the question, will I be summoning on this banner? Yeah, I will. I'm not gonna go crazy just because there's literally a Gala banner coming up pretty soon. Um, or th we think there's a Gala banner coming up because Mars came out of nowhere. Um, and we were expecting one for this month. So I 100% expect a Gala banner unless one doesn't happen. In which case, all they did was move up Mars to make the probably the biggest dick move in the history of gotchas for no good reason. I say as someone who pulled him in one ticket, but still. A dick move for everyone else. There's no denying it's, it was a dick move. Even if I got lucky. Dick move. Alright, let's very quickly... Um, actually, I think I'm going to show the trailer for them. Uh, I won't be able to include sound, but it's fine. All right, here we are. Play it real quick. Mm. Yeah, there she is. Is she going to be riding a dragon, I, I, you think? 
I haven't seen this yet, so I don't know. Oh, she does. That's awesome. <laughs> Damn it. Now I really do want her. Uh, just seeing that one skill animation was enough for me to go like, all right, screw everything. I really do want him. Yeah, I'll try. Even if I'm not going to be going super ham for him. Wow. That's also really cool. Why is Draganio release cool units? It really makes it tough to save. Oh, hello, emo boy. Tell me your dreams, your thoughts. Kami? I see. He really does look like um, Sephiroth's sh shitty younger brother. All right. Like... All right, and as promised, let's quickly go over the mana spirals. We've got Ciliara. She gets um, Ardent Stream, deals water damage to the enemies directly ahead. No change. Weird. Winter's Blade grants the users the following effect until the next time this, you, this skill or first strike is used. No, this is the old stuff, right? That has to be all the old stuff. That has to be the old things, right? No, it's not. Okay. Grants the user the following effects until they next use this skill or force strike. Increase strength by 25%. The Argent Stream skill will inflict frostbite. Force strikes will inflict freeze and, f and inflicts the user with frostbite. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of interesting for sure. Um, Co-op ability, strength 10%. Chain co-op ability, water, HP below 40% equals flame resistance 9%. Thamian's Bane, oh, that's kind of a bummer, she kept that. Potent burn resistance 100%, and last offense 50%. Buff strength by 50% for 15 seconds when HP drops 30% once per quest. Um, hmm. It's another one where I'm not 100% sure on this one. I think it's weird to have her change be on... Like, literally, skill one is not changed one iota. I don't know. She has to have, like, insane damage mods or something to be worth it, I think. I mean, she is going to be strength. Okay, so that means... Man, I don't know. I'm going to have to see her damage because I think there's something I'm missing because it's too plain from what I see here. So let's look at Ranzel. Tornado Bash deals wind damage to the surrounding enemies, draws them towards the user, dispels one buff for each target, and inflicts poison. Sure. Storm Wall increases the entire team's defense by 25% for 15 seconds. If the user's HP is above or equal to 85% of the max HP, grants the entire team a life shield that nullifies damage equal to the user's HP at the time of using the skill, minus 80% of the user's max HP. So it makes him basically mini Grace. Also, the fact that he dispels um, one buff with the skill one, it will be very useful because of... Um, the new Agito in her final form, um, it she gets like a defense skill that makes the fight go way longer, which is one of the reasons I think Grace ends up being really useful is because she can remove that um, dispel. There's no wind unit with dispel at all. I guess Ranzel would be the first. Um, all right, let's see. Co-op ability, defense 15%. HP 60% equals strength 3%. Uh, 3%. Slayer, Fury, strength 1%. Increases strength by 6% for every 5 enemies defeated, up to 5 times for request. And increases strength by 8% when the combo count is 15 or higher. Bog resistance up 100%. Enhanced last defense 1. Increases defense by 70% for 15 seconds and increases defense by 10% for the remainder of this quest when the user's HP drops to 30% once per uh, quest. I'm um, going to be very interested to see how Ranzel does. Because that seems like with that skill 1 and maybe skill 2, he could make his way into 4 DPS um, meta teams for... Cel uh, I keep wanting to call her Ciliara, but it's the Water Guido. This lady, let me put go up to her. She has the same C name. Guido. Ciala. There you go. Uh, I have trouble with names. I won't let the so yeah, Ransom looks pretty interesting to me. Hmm. But we'll see how these uh, Mana Spirals check out. I'm, I'm kind of like pretty good uh, for Ranzel, and I need to see a lot more from Celiara for, for me personally. Unless there's something I'm missing. If you see something I don't see with her, tell me, because I'm, I'm, I'm willing to listen on it. Uh, and that's it for today's video, everyone. So I'm going to be doing a summon video. Um, not going to go crazy, uh, mainly because I really do think there's a Gala Banner coming, and I'm wondering what the next collab is going to be, and... 
who knows what that one's gonna be. It could be anything. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. Again, if you liked the video, remember to leave a like. Tell me what you feel about all the five units that we've mentioned here. Or just tell me how you're feeling in general, I guess. And until next time, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Have a good day.